welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the versatility of a pair of shoes that you might spy behind me. Ooh. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Virginia. I work full-time as a lawyer and after hours, I run my personal style blog, whatvwar.com, where I share my tidbits about workwear, neutrals, and luxury items. YouTube is a fairly new venture for me and I'm intending this to be an extension of what I have already built on my blog. I added these to my wardrobe in late 2021 and my only regret with these shoes is that I didn't add them to my wardrobe sooner. I was hesitant initially because of the price tag, but since they've been part of my wardrobe, I have just been blown away by their versatility. I've heard of a lot of people saying how versatile they are, but I didn't properly appreciate it till they were part of my collection and I have gotten so much joy out of the fact that they go with everything and they're so easy to style. The shoes have experienced a real surge in popularity in recent years so I think the peak would have been probably around 2014 2015 but this is a pair of shoes that's almost 70 years old oh. it was originally designed as a men's shoe and there's a real inspiration drawn there from equestrianism and that stems from the fact that Gucci o Gucci who started the label was working at the Savoy Hotel in London and he would witness a lot of his wealthy English clientele and the fact that equestrianism was associated with the aristocracy so he saw how lucrative it would be to design pieces with equestrianism in mind. The Gucci loafer design is really quite simple. So it's your basic loafer that's embellished with this metal horse bit detail. But these days, of course, the collection has expanded to be quite broad. In the core classic collection, there is the Jordan loafer, which is just the classic closed back loafer. There's also the Brixton, which has the collapsible heel and is made of a softer leather. Then there's the Princetown loafer, which is a slipper mule style. So they're the three classic designs and there are so many different iterations of the loafer themselves. There are seasonal releases with different prints and fabrics. I think perhaps in my 20s I probably would have been a little bit more adventurous to experiment with something a little bit more playful. But these days in my 30s I'm a real enthusiast for the classics. While these are traditionally a men's shoe, they've really cemented themselves to be a staple for women. And so in today's video, I'm going to be styling the loafers in a heap of different looks, appropriate for the office as well as for the weekend. And I think the way in which I'll order all of my looks will be from the dressiest to the most casual. So let's get started. enjoyed my little styling video featuring the iconic Gucci loafers. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'd love it if you supported what I do here by subscribing to my channel and hitting on that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!